Hey superstars, welcome to my January recap. Uh, you guys spoil me so much that I'm surprised I'm not attracting flies. So I've got some care packages, some contest wins, and a couple of fun purchases. But first, I promised you all a giveaway last week, so let's see who won. For this Derek Jeter rookie card, I asked you what baseball-related item was on top of Jerry's fridge in the first season of Seinfeld. The last couple of days, he's been acting very strange. The answer was a box of 1990 Don Ross baseball cards. So let's check with the spinning wheel of fortuitousness. Last time I used this wheel, I ended up with some stupid malware. It was totally my fault, but be careful out there, kids. We've got seven correct entries, and the winner is... Tops Vintage 316. Congrats, Brian. All right, for this 1968 Tops Fergie Jenkins, I asked what kind of dog did Walter claim to be watching for Cynthia in The Big Lebowski? Oh, Cynthia's dog. It's like a Pomeranian. Oh, I can't leave him home alone. He's furniture. The dog was a Yorkshire Terrier, but Walter claimed it was a Pomeranian with papers. I will accept either answer. 10 entries for this one, and the Fergie goes to... Card Hobbyist. All right, Patrick, congratulations. And for the mystery prize, I asked who was the Jewish ball player that served as a spy in World War II? The answer was Moberg. We have 14 entries for this one, and fate's kind hand blesses. Eddie! And she gives the rest of you losers the finger. She's not very nice sometimes. All right, Eddie, I'm pretty sure I know what I'm sending you, but I'm not 100% sure yet, so I will be in touch. Hey, friends. I've got my trusty Wonder Boy. Bronco and Kevin sent over a Christmas card. A lot of these came in at the beginning of January, so I'm still talking about Christmas cards after Groundhog's Day. Oh, but what if the card community had done Groundhog's Day cards instead of Christmas cards? But anyway, some warm wishes. Still relevant for Groundhog's Day, just saying. Let's see some cards. Omar, Brantley, Santos, Charlie, Albert, Corey, Corey, Big Sexy, Fryman, and a first Bowman Cliff Lee. Very cool, fellas. Thank you so much. So, I just got back from a card show where I picked up this gorgeous 1952 Bowman signed Al Rosen, and I find this package from Sean Tiford waiting for me. If that is not kismet, I don't know what is. It's chock full of goodies. Hey, Scott, thank you for the support, and keep up the great work. Happy Groundhog's Day. Your friend, Sean. Aw, thanks, Sean. Eddie, Hargrove rookie. Love that card. Buddy Bell rookie, 62 team card, Frankie scratch off, not Fausto auto. That's really cool. Greg Allen auto, Z Mac auto, Tyler Naquin auto. Wow. And we've just started. More autographs. Uh, Len Barker, Thunder, Sid the Kid, another Thunder, Yeti and my spaghetti, Johnny Antonelli from down the block. Auto, I'm with the bando. Oh, wow. Sandy numbered one of nine. So cool. Mr. Smile, more autographs. Wow, Eric Haas, um, Pronk, Tony Pacheco, Gold Lindor, Feller, 1960 Calavito, and one of the best cards ever made, Destruction Crew. But wait, there's more. There's this box of cartoons. These were fun. I think that's the whole set. And this, this is an autographed 1950 Bowman Al Rosen rookie card. It is trimmed, but it is still really, really awesome with that vintage ballpoint pen. And you're really, really awesome, Sean. Thank you so much, sir. I am absolutely blown away. Another Groundhog's Day card. You're a beautiful man, Chase, but I'm not going to kiss you, buddy. All I want for Groundhog's Day is my TTMs. Uh, we need to work on those Groundhog's Day songs, I guess. Uh, more autographs. How'd you guys know? We've got Tony Sip, Chris Perez, Eddie Tobinsey, who was awesome because he's who the Indians traded to Houston to get Kenny Lofton. This is Jan Gomes and some Wahoo stickers. Thank you, Chase. This one is from Disguise Cards. Merry Groundhog's Day, Scott. Wishing you and your family the best for this Groundhog's Day. 
Uh, keep up the great work and thank you for your support. Aw, nice Larry Nance autograph. Larry is a good dude and you're a good dude, Alfredo. Thanks, buddy. Say hi to Diz Baby for me. I didn't realize they celebrated Groundhog's Day in the UK. That's exciting. I do this in a British accent, but at best it would be a very poor Michael Caine. So off to the internet for a British accent translator. Groundhog's Day wishes. Bet you'd love to have Santa's big white beard. I'm working on it, Kim. Have a magical Groundhog's Day. Best wishes for 2021, my friend. Loving them YouTube videos. Keep them up. Thank you, Kim. Thank you, Kim. That's very kind of you. I appreciate it. Cheers, friend. Donut Crush? What's that? Sounds tasty. I have to say, this packaging is pretty wild. Ah, uh, no donuts, though. But what's this? Yes, a Corey Snyder starting lineup. Bronco and Kevin sent this over as a thank you for taking Rob Deere around Akron. I thought I had a Corey, and I was going to bring him along on the tour, but I was mistaken. Rob and Corey are like twinsies with their beautiful golden mustaches. Thanks, guys. This is great. This one says, happy, happy, happy Groundhog's Day. Nice, a stick reindeer and some reindeer poo. This one is from Jeremy, IPTTM. Nice, a purple J-Ram and Alan and Ginter minis of Bieber and Lindor. Numbered even, I love it. You are too good to me, Jeremy. Thanks, man. Not really a care package, but I'll throw this in here anyway. Woo, Shuffle Trades is fun. You should go to shuffletrades.com and check it out. Zane's not even paying me to say this. I can't remember what I sent in December, but I got this back. Uh, Walter L., I think he was in Battlefield Earth. Sweet. Man animal. This is from Markle Mars. Scott, I hope you had a nice Groundhog's Day. Here's some stuff. Take care and stay safe. Let's meet up at Triple Play Vintage someday. Your friend, Markle. I'd love to, Mr. Mars. Let's see what we got. Ben Broussard, nice. Charlie Nagy, Olympic card. Love that. Ooh, I love that even more. Mudcat Grant rookie card. I've been looking for one of these. And a 1968 Steve Hargan. Wow, Michael, I love him. Thank you, buddy. This is from Fred, and it's kind of a mystery because I don't know Fred, but uh, mysteries are fun. To the man with the golden hands, some cards for you. Enjoy. I hope that doesn't mean I peed all over my hands. Gross. Fred sent an autographed Chris Perez heritage. Very nice. Candyman, Corey, Floyd, and Odeby. Thanks, Fred. These are great. Justin over at Army Guy Autographs had a 100 subscriber giveaway and I won. Go me! Justin is a great guy who grew up in my neck of the woods, so he's got great taste in sports teams and a really, really nice collection. He sent over his autographed card. I love that. Let's see what we got. I got a Tom Glavin autograph, Kenta Maeda first Bowman, and nice, a uh, 58 Tops Larry Doby. Great cards. Thank you, Justin. Do me a favor, everybody. Go check out Army Guy Autographs or I'll beat you up. All right, this is my prize package from Caleb's Battle of the Decades contest, where my team 50s and 60s beat the pants off of Brandon Stebbins. I mean, team 90s. It was a lot of fun, and I found out I'm a lot slower at TTMing than most other guys. Uh, it says, thanks for joining the Battle of the Decades contest. I loved seeing your returns. I hope you had fun, and thanks for helping supply the team with cards. I knew I wouldn't have a ton of returns, but I tried helping out in other ways, too. Happy Groundhog's Day, Caleb. Thank you, Caleb. I did have a lot of fun. It was cool being on a team with some real TTM rock stars. Nice. Some signed 8x10s. Joe Smith, I liked him a lot. Jason Donald was a great fielder. Grady, Masterson, and Kipnis. And not Fausto. Those were not signed, but still really cool. Matt Laporta, Lou Marson, Pronk, and it's Chris Perez month at Reindeer Studios. And a pack of 96 Fleer Update. You know what I like, Caleb. Thank you so much, sir. At the beginning of the month, I went to a card show in Hartville, Ohio. Not really sure how smart that was, but I needed to get out of the house, and I tried to be very careful. I was kind of shocked to find this uh, 52 Al Rosen that I showed earlier and this post-Don Mossy autograph. I also picked up these really clean 1964 top stand-up cards. I might throw those in my pile of stuff to get graded someday. And then some eBay stuff. I am a big fan of Smokey the Bear, so I pulled the trigger on these Smokey American League cards. I didn't realize they were in a sheet, but they're really fun. And I finished the 1941 Playball Cleveland Indians team set. 
I had the Trotsky and the Hemsley already, and I found a seller with uh, both the Stormy Weatherly and Happy Milnar in matching SGC slabs and on sale. How could I not buy them? Sure, the set is only four cards, and sure, they're guys no one has ever heard of, but they're 80 years old, they're not expensive, and they're beautiful cards. Phil! 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 Phil. So that is it. I hope everybody had a lovely Groundhog's Day. I want to take a second to thank everybody who nominated me for the YouTube Sports Card Hall of Fame. Um, it is so encouraging and it really means a lot to me that you think that highly of my silly videos. Um, I actually did quite well, I think, and I'm kind of proud that I'm making slightly different sports card videos and you guys make me feel like I might be doing something right. So uh, thank you and I love you guys. Uh, thanks everybody for watching. 2021 is off to a great start. Thanks to people like Baseball Card Illustrated, Sean Tiford, Chasen Inc., Disguise Cards, Kim Williams, Jeremy IPTTM, Shuffle Trades, Markle Mars, Fred, Army Guy Autographs, and Caleb's Cards, TTM's Autographs, and more. Much love everybody and happy Groundhog's Day. Thank you. And all yous at home, stay safe.